Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're working in Affinity Software, mastering alignment and distribution can transform your designs, making them cleaner and more professional. Today, I'll show you how to align, distribute, and unify layers using simple squares. Let's jump in. Here's our example. Five squares, randomly placed across the canvas. To get started, I need to select all the squares. Since they're next to each other in the Layers panel, I'll click the first one, hold Shift, and then click the last one to select all five. With my layers selected, I'll activate the Move tool by pressing V on the keyboard or selecting it from the toolbar. Now, let's align these squares. With the Move tool active, I'll click the Alignment button in the toolbar, opening the Alignment dialog. I'll align the squares vertically to the center. Watch how clicking the center vertical alignment button neatly organizes them into a straight line. If you want to undo this, you can always click the active button again to revert to the original layout. For this design, I want the alignment to match the center of the entire document. To do that, I'll switch the Align to Dropdown from Selection Bounds to Spread. Now. Let's evenly space these squares. Using the Space Horizontally button in the Alignment dialog, I'll distribute them. The default setting works well, but if I want finer control, I can uncheck Auto Distribute and adjust the spacing manually. Once I'm happy with the layout, I'll click Apply to lock in the changes. Here's another challenge. Aligning these squares horizontally to the center of the document without overlapping. If I try aligning them now, they'll all collapse into a single point. The solution? Group them first. With all squares selected, I'll press Command plus G on Mac or Control plus G on Windows. Now, when I align the group horizontally, it keeps their positions intact and centers the entire group. For the next example, I've got eight squares, all different sizes, and I want them to share the same width. After selecting all the squares, I'll open the alignment dialog and go to the Make Same Options. I'll check Width, and just like that, all the squares adjust to the width of the first selected layer. If I want to change the reference layer, I can hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click the layer I want to use as the new base. Then go to Alignment and make them same width check the Maintain Aspect Ratio to prevent them from stretching. Now about the rotation. Let me rotate this square to 45 degrees, then select all the layers. Holding the Alt key, select the rotated layer to make it as base. Go to Alignment and in the Make Same section choose Rotation. I've got five squares again. By default, the software spaces everything based on the leftmost and rightmost squares. But if I nominate the second square as the reference, the distribution changes. To nominate a layer, I'll hold Option or Alt and click the square I want to use as the reference. Then, I'll apply the Space Horizontally button again to see the updated spacing. It will make the spacing width same as the spacing between first and second square. Finally, let's talk about snapping for quick alignment. With the Move tool selected, I'll turn on Snapping from the toolbar. Now, as I drag the squares, snapping indicators will appear. Once I see both the green and red lines, I know the squares are perfectly centered horizontally and vertically. I'll release the mouse, and voila. They're aligned to the document center without grouping. And there you have it. Aligning, distributing, and unifying layers in Affinity Software is easy and effective. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.